good morning and jai hind in this video i am going to discuss the second case in bank reconciliation statement where the cash book contains a credit balance as we have studied till now that whenever we are going to prepare the brs as per our cash book we always consider pass book as a correct one we have to make changes according to the pass book so in case of credit balance as it is given in a question we have to make the entry of uh, the credit balance on the minus side in the brs so i am going to discuss the question number 6 from the exercises given at the back of brs chapter from the book accountancy written by dk goel so let us read the question first prepare bank reconciliation statement as on 31st january 2017 if cash book of mr sanjay showed a credit balance of 20100 rupees so as per our question uh, mr sanjay books contains a credit balance that means overdraft so this is the second case which we are going to discuss today so these are the various Uh, entries which we have to adjust one by one so let us start this the first entry is the bank had paid fire insurance premium of 550 rupees which does not appear in a cash book so as the this amount has been paid by the bank so we have to deduct this amount in our brs as you can see here i have prepared a brs Uh, the format is similar to the first case the first column contains particular second column is for plus items and third for the minus items so in particular on in a, initially we have to write the credit balance or overdraft as per our cash book and the amount 20100 is to be written in a minus column now the first entry which we have just read is for the fire insurance premium paid by the bank so the amount of bank balance is uh, less than the cash book that's why we have to deduct this amount so we have to write 550 rupees in minus item column the second entry is checks for 25000 issued during january but checks for only 18500 were presented for payment so the difference of this amount has to be added in our cash book so the you can see the second entry here checks issued but not yet presented for payment so the difference of 25000 and 18500 that comes to be 6500 and this amount has to be added so i have written in the plus item column now the third entry interest collected by bank 740 rupees so we have to add this amount again in our plus item column so the third entry is written here interest credited in the pass book that is 740 rupees now the fourth entry checks of rupees 8700 were deposited into the bank but check of for 7000 were cleared till 31st january 2017 so in this case also we have to calculate the difference of this amount and this um, uh, the calculated amount has to be written in minus item column as you can see the fourth entry checks deposited but not yet collected i have subtracted 7000 from 8700 and i have calculated the amount 1700 written in a minus item column the fifth and the last entry is a customer deposited 620 rupees directly into the bank without informing mr sanjay so as again here also the amount of bank balance is more than the uh, cash book balance bank column 
so we have to add this amount 620 rupees in our cash book and that means write in the plus item column as you can see the fifth entry direct deposit by a customer in a bank and 620 rupees has been written in a plus item column after writing all these entries we have to balance both the columns so i have added all the items separately for both the columns you can see the total of plus item is rupees 7860 and for the minus item the total amount is 22350 rupees so the difference amount between the two is 14490 rupees and this is a overdraft or we may say debit balance as per our passbook and it is a unfavorable condition so i hope you all have understood the question thank you